We are currently seeing an increase in COVID-19 cases, and unfortunately with the holidays approaching, there is the opportunity to increase that rate even, even more. We really want to avoid um, having large family get-togethers. I know many, many families typically have 30, 40 people get together for Thanksgiving. That is a very high-risk situation. So we know that you want to spend time with your family members that you may not see except at Thanksgiving, but we really want to try to figure out ways that we can still be socially connected while still physically distant and to avoid the spread of COVID. The more people you have that are getting together, especially if they're not normally in your um, immediate bubble, the higher risk you have. So making your events smaller, making them virtual if possible, whether you're each cooking independently or maybe one or two households cook and just distribute the food elsewhere because we know food is such an important part of Thanksgiving and sharing that. If we happen to have nice weather, can you take it outside and eat outside? We know that you know the, the time that people are at greatest risk is when they're not able to wear their mask, which we know you can't do when you're eating and when you're physically close together, especially indoors. So if there's other ways in your household that you can spread out, um, again, take it outside and minimize the amount of time that you're around other family members without a mask on. Obviously, hand, frequent hand hygiene and everything else is important as well.